the enigma surrounding the disappearance of the tomato in space has been successfully unraveled. More significantly, an innocent man, who had been wrongly accused of consuming the freshly harvested produce while on the International Space Station, has been exonerated. Add underscore circle. Astronaut Frank Rubio achieved a historic milestone in September by setting the American record for the longest spaceflight with 371 days in orbit. However, before his return to Earth on a capsule, Rubio playfully gained some notoriety among his colleagues. In a light-hearted twist, Rubio, aged 47, had become the prime suspect when his portion of a tomato, harvested in March aboard the space station, went missing. After months of speculation, Rubio's reputation has now been vindicated. NASA crew members on the station participated in a live-streamed event on Wednesday to commemorate the 25th anniversary of the International Space Station. During the event, there was a surprising revelation. Towards the conclusion of the conversation, astronaut Jasmine Mobley made a candid admission about a recent discovery. We may have stumbled upon something that someone has been searching for for quite some time, Mobley disclosed, prompting laughter among her and her fellow crewmates. Red Dwarf Tomato was part of NASA experiment. The particular red robin dwarf tomato in question had been part of an off-Earth harvest on March 29. As a component of the VEG-05 experiment, which Rubio himself had overseen during an unexpected humidity drop, astronauts were tasked with consuming tomatoes cultivated under various light conditions and evaluating them based on criteria such as flavor, texture, and juiciness. However, before the former army doctor and helicopter pilot could sample his allocation, it drifted away in a Ziploc bag somewhere within the confines of a space station equivalent in size to a six-bedroom house, as reported by Space.com. I spent countless hours searching for that thing, Rubio quipped during a live-streamed conversation with senior NASA management in September. I'm confident that the desiccated tomato will resurface at some point and vindicate me, perhaps years down the line. We found the tomato. To Rubio's likely relief, the search for the wayward tomato concluded in months, not years. By the time whatever remained of the produce was discovered, Rubio had already returned to Earth, missing the resolution of the tomato mystery. The Salvadorian-American astronaut, born in Los Angeles, touched down on September 27 in a remote area of Kazakhstan alongside the two cosmonauts with whom he had embarked over a year earlier for what was initially planned as a six-month mission. However, complications with a Russian Soyuz capsule necessitated a replacement, more than doubling his time in space. Fortunately, Rubio's departure didn't signal the end of the quest for the elusive red tomato. The revelation from Mobley came on Wednesday when NASA's associate administrator, Bob Cabana, playfully inquired if the astronauts had unearthed anything previously lost. Our good friend Frank Rubio, who headed home, has been blamed for quite a while for eating the tomato, Mobley shared. But we can exonerate him, we found the tomato.